Fredericksburg, Texas. Some place that we've been wanting to go for so long. If you're from Texas, you know that this is a really hot spot to visit. Fredericksburg was founded on May 8th, 1846 by German immigrants under the Society of the Protection of German Immigrants. But today, Fredericksburg is really known for being a tourist attraction in the Texas Hill Country with over 50 plus wineries and vineyards, amazing landscapes, and deep German roots. Also next to Fredericksburg is a little town called Lukenbach, Texas, which we were able to visit yesterday. My brother played live with a band called Parker Ryan, and they opened for Picos in the Rooftops. Unfortunately, we were unable to bring my camera in because privacy of the band's music, but we did get some recording on our phone. This is a super, super, unique little town, um, very famous thanks to Willie Nelson and his country music. So today, Lukenbach maintains a ghost town feel with its small population of, I think, three to 13. It was three in 2006, and then recently it said 13, but this was such a unique town to visit, and it was so lively um, at night with everyone coming in for the country music, everybody's dressed in their boots and their hats. It was just a really fun place to be, especially if you like to dance, and you like to have a beer, and you like to listen to some good music. But today we're gonna to be kickstarting our trip with the Pioneer Museum, which is about the German heritage around the town. And the history of Fredericksburg. Let's go! stop is the visitor center because we want to see if there's anything else we need to know or anything else we want to learn that we didn't get in our research and it's just a fun way to start and get to know the town. So we're about to watch a little 10 minute historical video on Fredericksburg. Texas heart, German soul. Now we're gonna go get some more knowledge at the Pioneer Museum. So the Pioneer Museum goes a little bit more in depth on the German history and like why Germans immigrated here and it goes over Fredericksburg history. So we're gonna go check that out. We think it's a good idea to get a better understanding of the city itself. And I'm also a huge German nerd, never been to Germany, but I'm extremely interested in the language. <gasps> what are these going? people doing? Okay, sorry. But yeah, this is a pretty cool Texas area that has so much German heritage. So we're just really excited. Basically, basically that's the whole point of the video. We're just excited. Driving through here is just so cool because it's like combining like some cool European, you know, vibes, but it's also a small town Texas feel and it's the best of both worlds. It's it's so unique and I really like it. Andrew is on a mission. He's geeking out about all these historical buildings. We don't have that many. Everything kind of is new, so. He's running around to see what building this is. After stopping at a few random places, we finally made it to the Pioneer Museum. This unique outdoor museum brings you back in time to the late 1800s German pioneer life. You get the opportunity to explore buildings from this time, including old homes, a blacksmith shop, a barber shop, and the White Oak School. Die Farben, the oh. colors. Rot, grün, weiß, blau. I don't think that's right. Schwarz, brown, gil. Tell us if that's correct if you're German. We're now on the way to go get some lunch and my parents are in town, but we're meeting up with them and we're going to... Der Lindebaum which I heard was the best place to get German food in town. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not too crowded. But we have a uphill walk to get to the restaurant. Onward. <laughs> what are you gonna get? Hungarian beef stew. Ooh. I'll say it in English. Stuck between the curry roast and the Zigwiner schnitzel. I don't know how to say that. We just ordered a, a piece of black forest cake. Apparently it's a traditional German cake. It's just a chocolate cake with, I think, like a cherry filling. And I'm a big dessert guy. I know this guy is too, so. I'm a big dessert fan. <laughs> big Me fan. too. Big fan. I am too. Are you? <laughs> Look at this destruction. Now we're off to Wild Seed Farms, which is the biggest wildflower farm in the U.S. Jenna is so excited yeah. about this. Oh my God, look at the sunflowers. We'll be able to walk around, check it out, and um... I'm so excited! Yay!
finally made it to Altstadt Brewing. First thoughts, it, it really looks like a... A castle. It does, it looks like a mansion. It does mansion. look very German. <laughs> so we're about to walk in. I'm very really excited. excited. I've had so many of their beers, mm -hmm. but apparently they have a lot of different beers here. They don't, they don't bottle or can. We're gonna go check it out. Let's go see. We have a Maybach, a Pilsner, an Amber, and then a regular Bach. Which one do you like? I like the German Pilsner. I think that's the best one, but I just like it because it's really light. What has been y'all's favorite? The Probably Vienna. The Vienna Red, which has disappeared. We are officially done at the Altstadt Brewery. Super good and a great atmosphere. Yeah, the atmosphere was great. It was a little loud inside, but the outdoors area was super nice. If you come here when it's cold, the outdoor patio area is beautiful there, but the brewery itself is absolutely stunning. The beer is really, really good. Super I personally good. love the beer. It was a great time, and now we are going to head over to the Market Plots mm -hmm. and check out. The Market Plots is kind of the center of town. It's a little park area where you can walk around, have a picnic. But anyways, see you at the Market Plots. So this directly behind us was the first building in Fredericksburg. It has been a church, a school for multiple years. It was built in 1846 and it was actually destroyed and they decided to rebuild it in 1903. You can go in and actually view the history. I believe it's only $2 to get in. Unfortunately, it's closed right now, but we might do this sometime this week. And the Market Platz area looks like a great place for the community to gather. There's a lot of room for picnic. It's just a lot of open room and space where people seem to come together and enjoy this area. So we gotta go from this Airbnb to the next one, but we're gonna be doing a few things first, so. our next stop because it requires quite a bit of driving probably about like seven miles and we are really running low but our next stop is da -da -da -da, Lyndon B. Johnson State and National Historical Park. So our first stop is going to be our 36th president Lyndon B. Johnson's ranch out here in Stonewall, Texas and was actually born about 14 miles east of where we are right now in Johnson City, which is a little bit coincidental. I thought they named the city after him, but apparently not the case. So one of Johnson's relatives actually purchased the property back in 1909 and when Lyndon B. Johnson was senator in 1951, they acquired it then and at that time it was around 269 acres right on the Peter Nales River and now it's about 700 acres and it's got, like Jenna said, more um, historical context to it. So we're really excited to go check it out. So while cattle was a really small part of Lyndon B. Johnson's income, it's something he's really known for. One of his quotes is, where the cattle goes out, the money comes in. The Johnsons maintained two different herds of cattle on the LBJ ranch, one for beef and one for breeding. So we just stopped at the show barn, and the show barn here was the center of their ranching operation. gift giving president. Apparently he loved to give gifts and so this is just a room full of different types of gifts he has given. Watches. <sighs> These old watches. I love watches. Look, they've got two extra ones. Let the man get a watch. You know? <laughs> so we're about to go check out President Johnson's jet. So they call it Air Force One Half or Air Force One and a Half. So the reason LBJ had his own jet like this is because his airstrip to get home to his ranch could not support the weight of Air Force One. So he would either have to take a small jet or helicopter home, which is why he ended up getting this jet in its Air Force One Half. 
So we're now here at the Texas White House, which was the LBJ Ranch. However, it's temporarily closed. I'm guessing still from COVID, but I'm not entirely sure. But it is absolutely beautiful, and we're still able to walk around the outside and get a sneak peek. It's right across the creek or the river, and it's just absolutely beautiful out here. This vlog. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the things that you could do in Fredericksburg, 25% of them. Doesn't include drinking at a winery. Nothing against that. We're still gonna do that, but we haven't gotten to that part of the trip yet. No, that's gonna be part two. That's gonna be part two. So stay tuned. We're gonna grab lunch and then we're gonna go check into our new Airbnb, which we'll make a following vlog for. We got a lot of videos coming, so make sure you subscribe, leave a like, comment below what you thought about LBJ's ranch, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!